a warm welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, guys. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Quite excited because today we're bringing to you a new product that I've purchased from Interdetailing that is available in the link in the description. Why have I purchased this? Because it's a glaze that's kind of up my street. So it's from Chemical Guys, Los Angeles. Um, wet mirror finish, the vernis, the finish, oh, mirror humidity, for the franchise. Uh, UV blockers, anti-static agents, which quite desirable functions there. Um, gloss magnifying finish, enhanced deep wet shine, synthetic polymer protection. And it's got a thumbs up, which means it's apparently it's a premium product. Whose standard is that, by the way? <laughs> Who's standard? Who says it's premium? Some quality standard, no idea. Can that mean anything? I could put that on my, tattoo that on my head, but I could still be an idiot. Right, Chemical Guys Wet Finish. So it's a unique gloss magnifying glaze. So you use this to prepare your paintwork. Um, the synthetic formula, so no wax, that's really important. And perhaps desirable as well. Bonds to the surface. So it's probably silicon based, bring a brilliant shine, a slick finish, very important to me. This is ticking all my boxes at the moment. This is what I want. Wet mirror finish cleanses the paintwork of light stains and contamination. Yeah, so if you just got like, you haven't quite got that finish up to where you want it to be, but you're not looking to do paint correction. You just want to reset the paintwork and shine it up and glaze it. Um, so it'll take out minor swirls and scratches. Machine level marring type scratches, very light surface things. You know, glaze, you can use them by hand and it takes away that, that hazing, gives you a bit more clarity, generally. Right, it adds extra protection. Well, glazes aren't great at that, though. UV blockers, that's quite desirable, that stop the damaging effects of the sun, although it's never independently tested, is it? So that quality standard doesn't mean much. I'd much rather a little thumbs up saying, you know, tested at the independent University of Detailing Products and it does have UV benefits or whatever. Anti-static agents, again, this is quite desirable, especially in the summer when you don't want dust and things lying on the car. You know, and waxes can attract dust and all that. Okay, mirror finish turns any color paintwork into a mirror. Yeah, okay. For extra protection, enhanced look of your vehicle, simply top mirror finish with any wax or sealant. That's a disadvantage. So after you've done this, you've got to top it to lock it in really, or whatever resins are in here tend to be washed away a bit easier. Great, an amazing shine. Okay, excellent. Right, very important. Directions, shake well, clean surface, or we should wash and clean the car and make sure it's dry. Place a small amount of finish on foam or microfiber applicator pad. Apply a thin coat over the vehicle, allow 15 minutes to dry before removing. Remove using a premium microfiber towel for high gloss shine. Yeah, probably with your favorite wax sealant. Yeah, fine. Um, but what's the point of putting something with anti-static properties down if you're gonna put a paste wax back over the top of it? So maybe they should, should be a mirror shine topper product for this if there isn't already. Machine application can be applied by machine with DA polisher using clean finishing pad. Yeah, work on a low speed, do not apply pressure. Hmm. Well, it's hard to do that. The machine applies pressure. Allow 15 minutes to dry before removing. Yeah, okay, I'll get the idea. Instructions, I think, are always quite good. The product blurb is always, I always think chemical guys tend to get this right, even though you know I'm really cynical. And they've got the health and safety stuff in there. And because it's California based. It's gonna have every health and safety law under the sun. If you come within 200 meters of this product, make sure you're in your radioactive suit with a Geiger counter. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Now, price. This Chemical Guys product costs around 26 pounds for 473 mil. Here's another glaze that is one of my favorites. Old school, non-wax based glaze as far as I'm aware. I think it's an acrylic, Paul Boy's Black Hole. This is about 16 pounds for 500 mil. I'm sure you can get it cheaper. I'm not sure if you'll ever get that less than 25 quid though, but that's around 16 pounds. And forgive me for any variance on the price. This you can get for about 11 quid, the Auto Finesse Triple. It's not strictly speaking a glaze, but it's a similar type thing. All in one polish, lovely, just like a, just like a, polish and protect in one go so you in theory you wouldn't have to top this but the protection portion of it is very weak okay neither of these are particularly aggressive or abrasive but i like both these products 
Um, another comparison would be Auto Glim Super Resin Polish, which you can get from Halfords for about £15. So once again, this, this Chemical Guys product is way over the top on the price, really, compared to other brands that are a similar big size brands. Chemical Guys are quite a big brand, aren't they? So yeah, it's got to be good. That's what I've got to say about that. Now, I just want to take the top off. Oh, get off. I think I've had a look at this before. I don't know, I can't remember if it had a little seal in it. Oh, I think it's in there, the seal, isn't it? I'm going to have to pull, fish that out. That's not a problem. You can just see with this, it doesn't look to me, let's just get the schnozzle on it. It's very important. Mm. So it's an emulsion, but I'm not sure. Well, I, it's probably emulsion then. So I'd love to check to find out if that's a water based emulsion or just a solvent kind of cocktail if you like i'm guessing that's uh let's just have a little feel <laughs> thinking of all the noises i think that's a water-based emulsion but it's got solvent in it but i think there's water in that as well i think it can be hard to tell with all that stuff but it's quite creamy there's, there's a wateriness to that. I'll be amazed if that doesn't, if that isn't a water-based emulsion. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? I've got to fish this thing out, so it's just come straight off the uh, thing. I haven't used this before. It's going to be messy and frustrating. This is there. We got it. It's not the end of the world, but it doesn't impact my user experience and get my hands covered in product. Okay, a strong solvent smell as well. No, not strong, but. It's masked with a slight fruitiness, but <coughs> yeah, there's a solvent in there as well. So let's really shake it. I'm going to be using a six inch pad, six inch pad on a XFE. So it's a free spinning polisher. So it's just a little bit going to be at low speeds. It's going to be very kind on the paintwork. I'm, so I'm going to minimize any abrasive effect this might have. Good thing about these is you can really glaze your car as often as you like if you're using soft finishing pads. And that's why I tend to like this format. Now, God help this product if it's not good. And I've, because my paint is doing good at the moment. I've got a base of poor boys. Well, have I? It might have just been polished with S40. I can't remember if I based it with um, poor boys product. I think I did. I can't remember but then i put colonite bead coat on it and then i maintain it with colonite slick r which is working out really well for me so if this messes up my combo and this is not good i'm not going to be happy well it is going to mess up my combo isn't it but i'm hoping this is a really good product so because the pad's dry i'm just going to put five small blobs this is the point where someone tells me i've used way too much <laughs> It always happens. No matter, how no matter how little you use, someone will tell you it's way too much. And what we'll do is I'll put this over here so you can get a good eye for what I'm doing. All right, there's a nice, lovely shot, isn't it? And I'll come back. So really, we're just spreading this and leaving it for 15. Um, and you don't have to do this. You could just, you're gonna be working quickly. I just like to get a bit fresh. It's just a habit, I guess. I just fresh polish over the place over the whole area you wouldn't you don't necessarily need to do that uh, I'm gonna work it at low speed so probably go speed three this machine's not very fast spinning or very powerful so you could probably go a bit faster it's ideal <laughs> it's really good So I just want to bring you in on something because it's past the, the kind of first test that it's, that it's just spreading nicely by the machine with no weight. You can just see here. You see that? It's nice and easy. So getting this on the car, see how, that's nice actually. The emulsion is not too thick. So it's just nice, it's perfect. Okay. And then what I'll do with my product, where is it? Just top up a little bit more. I don't need to scrub the pad out. Just doing this by machine breaks the back of all of this and you can really, I'll just go with four dots now. 
it just breaks the back um, and makes it doing easy, doing this really easy. And you can see how quickly I'm doing it. You know, no pressure in the panel. Make sure I've got that edge stuck down. Look, one-handed. Not going turbo mode, you go even quicker, but I just want to make sure I get all the bits. You could take that up if you want, but that'll do. Polish with two hands in case you drop this polisher onto the car and scratch the paint or something, you know. But that's it, you can carry on now. The pads sort of primed with a little bit of the product, so you can see I'm getting a good layer of it over here as well. And what I'm going to do, I'll stop there because I'm losing control of the machine with one hand. But what I'm going to do is I'll just finish polishing, putting some product over that wing. I'm going to let this dry for 15 minutes and I'll come back. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes. So let's go in. This is the really important bit for me, the moment of truth. I'll know quite rapidly if this is going to be right for me. Uh, let's buff. This is not going to be completely dry, but hopefully... Whatever's in there is bonded to the panel and we're just wiping off the excess, so let's go. Ooh, the jury's still out. Mm. Oh, it's lovely and slick, yeah. The buff isn't quite as good as Poor Boys. It's not bad though. No, it's not bad. This is pretty good. It's just got a slight thickness to it, but it's pretty good, that is. Slickness is really, really good. That's lovely. This could be quite good, actually. It's just slightly greasy compared to uh, Poor Boys. It doesn't have that like that glide over where you just go gently. See, you can, that gentle thing is just leaving, won't get it all up. Maybe it needs a little bit longer. Because it certainly is by no means dry, but it's not difficult to buff. Don't get me wrong. It's not difficult at all, but it's not a 10 out of 10 buff. It's like a, I'd say it's like a seven or an eight out of 10 buff. The shine looks really good. And it's, when I look back on the area I have buffed, I'm not seeing any bits that need more buffing, if you know what I mean, which you can sometimes get. So, so far, so good. Yeah, it's, it's got a good buff on it though, guys. Look, don't get me wrong, it just needs two, I'd say. Not a bad buff. The buff is so important. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking. But that is really nice. It does look like a good gloss. Interesting. Don't know. You have to get this out in the sun afterwards as well. Far from a bad buff. I think it could need a bit longer now. The panel, but the gloss, yeah, I can really see it shining up. I need to do my glass. It's not bad. I wouldn't have many, any major problems or concerns with that, but it's just not a 10. It's like a seven to an eight on the buff, which is good. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I just want to—I just want to try something. Okay, just going to put a little mist of my beloved colonite over here. Just spread it with a little damp applicator. I want to see. If these two play okay. It's very easy to work with. Um, let's get a, another cloth. 
introduce any variables. Just as you start to see this mist and vape, it's probably been there already, yeah. Let's go. God, the gloss is damn good. Can you see that? It's both these, because this Colonite product's got good, really good gloss from the testing I've done. But on top of this chemical, guys, it is really, that's really looking great. Jeez, it is like a mirror. <laughs> it really is glossy as hell, that is. This combination. But there is a slight stickiness here. It's probably these two products, you know, the Colonite has its own system, its own carrier, water based, and maybe, you know, who knows what. Like we said, alcohol solvent. Jesus, that is shining. That's really shining. That is like a mirror. I don't think I've, I think that could be the most impressed I've been with gloss, but. So final thoughts on Chemical Guy's wet mirror finish. I think it lives up to the hype in terms of its wet mirror finish, which is very important as that's the product name. That is as, is as good as, as jetty and as mirrory as it gets. And I can see better than you can see on the camera. Yes, some of you are gonna say, it always looks like that, John. No, it doesn't, no. No, that's really good. That's great, That's finish is fine, absolutely. 10 out of 10 for me in terms of it doing what it needs to do. It's just that price. If it was 15 quid like my poor boys or whatever, I'd be less on the fence with it. Um, if it can deliver on that UV blocker and anti-static agent, and it does keep the dust off, then that's great. But how does that work when you're putting something else on top of it, like an old school paste wax? You know, if the paste wax is greasy on top, it doesn't matter if it's anti-static, the dust is gonna settle on it, isn't it? So you'd need a proper product to combo it with that's going to be suitable it doesn't combo perfectly with my beloved colonite bead coat it's just a little bit grippy as that wet liquid goes on it maybe it needs longer to cure but as it as it starts to you wipe it the gloss starts to come back and it's good looks fantastic guys it is a thumbs up from me i think i've given you all my concerns about it but i've also given you all the positives I'm still a little bit on the fence, but I am quite impressed with certain elements of this product. There we go, yeah, I'm still thinking. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. This one's really, really thrown a spanner into my brains, which, you know, is interesting, maybe. Doug. Holding on to what I the moment's gone Where was I when you